Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at Solo Dungeons. Uh, Solo Dungeons was just um, introduced into the game from the Percival update. Uh, the Percival update was a major update that brought Solo Dungeons customizable skins. Um, you know, you can change your hair. I believe you can change a lot more about your character itself. You can also get mount skins, and uh, you know, obviously the biggest part of every everything about this is the Solo Dungeons. Uh, the solo dungeons are definitely an improvement to solo play and albeit online. There wasn't really much you could do as a solo player besides maybe gather or um, maybe gank on your own. Uh, there wasn't really much solo content, so this is a really, really good update for us. Um, they also had a few new abilities come into play. Uh, I will be using the lifesteal passive. A lifesteal passive um, is basically a 15% bonus on lifesteal. So actually, uh, when they do healing sicknesses and things of that nature, it doesn't get debuffed. Um, your your life steal passive does not get debuffed based on healing sicknesses and uh, healing reduction. So what you saw I picked up there about probably 10, 15 seconds ago was a little um, shrine. And you're going to see the shrine right there, the bonuses it gives you. Basically, it allows you to do more damage to mobs. Uh, they, they give you a little buff, basically, so that if you get you know jumped one-on-one, -on -one, the, the guy jumping you... Uh, or ganking you in that solo dungeon needs to be, you know, of pretty high tier uh, gear or just completely able to outplay you because if you have those around the map waiting for your, you know, waiting for that hostile to show up if you're in red zone, you're able to just run over there and pick it up. Uh, but the biggest thing about solo dungeons is the fame. Uh, the fame is absolutely, I mean, it's good. It's definitely good fame because right here, you're going to be able to see I get about a thousand apiece for these. And I'm just smacking them around. It's not really a problem. I have, this guy will definitely be a thousand. Uh, he's kind of a little mini boss over here in the side. But you see that little shrine on the left. So that's what I was talking about. Um, it does buff your damage. And you get a little buff for a while. So as I kind of skip around here. Try to speed up the dungeon for you guys. And show you guys what the bosses are going to be looking like here in a second. Um, we are in tier, our floor 2. This is a tier 6 solo dungeon. So a lot of you guys will be able to do tier 6 solo dungeons as my mastery on quarterstaffs is about probably tier 5. Uh, I could probably wear tier 5 at max. So um, there are also a few new mobs. I don't know if you just saw that. But the mobs actually exploded on me if you take too long to kill them. So there's a lot of new mobs. There's statues that actually spawn mobs non-stop until you kill a statue. Uh, they don't give you more fame every time you kill the little mobs. By the way, you have to kill that statue. Uh, right here, you're going to see... I see a hostile player actually enters the area while I'm waiting on this. Uh, it takes me a little bit to realize while I'm waiting on my health to, you know, regenerate a little bit for this boss. I finally realize the hostiles here. I select my stun run, get my PvP, um, you know, make sure my gear is ready to play against this guy that's coming in. Um, as I'm looking around my gear, I'm just kind of making sure I'm kind of like, you know, checking everything out. Uh, I was in wire force, so there's a lot of guys looking to gank there. Um, as I check out you know my gear a little bit more I get smacked by an arrow and a couple auto attacks so he throws in a poison I get a good stun here I'm running a you know build that can definitely be good for 1v1s and that's what this guy's gonna realize real quick as he finally gets out of that invis with about 200 HP um, at this point he's dead because I just have hellion shoes and then I have my stun run so I'm gonna be able to just hit my stun run press Q walk up to him if he tries to turn around and he tried to turn around auto attack I get my stun off and he's dead um, he didn't run anything great. He's just probably testing, uh, you know, ganking. So he's got 4-1 gear, nothing special. But, you know, that's going to be helpful because solo dungeons, like I said earlier, the best part of the solo dungeons is definitely going to be the fame because the silver you're not going to get much of. Uh, unless you get pretty lucky, your drops aren't going to be too great. I did a couple dungeons and I haven't gotten a great drop. The best drop I've probably gotten is Tome of insight i mean or 5-1 uh soldier boots so whatever you guys consider the better drop uh, but right here we have a blue chest so i am going to show you guys kind of what it looks like for a tier 6 blue chest it's really not hard to do at all and like i said guys you're going to get ganked a lot in the red and black zones right now since the, this update just came out beware that you're going to get ganked and bring a siphoned energy right there i didn't use my siphoned energy i knew i could probably kill anybody with this build unless there was more than one but I brought my Siphon Energy in case there was more than one player. So here's my 5-1 Soldier Boots um, drop, which isn't bad. Uh, you know, it's not, it's really not that bad, but it's a blue chest, so 
uh, you know, usually in like, you know, a higher or, you know, if you're groups of players doing dungeons, you're going to get obviously more. Uh, so we get done with that dungeon. It was just that boss. We get out and we actually find another dungeon. This dungeon has a little a bore under it, actually. So I, you know, that made me think maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody's here and telling people not to come here with that little bore underneath it. I skip ahead a little bit because I am going to actually try to gank this guy from behind. Um, when I'm doing this gank, what is one of the key parts is not to hostile up too early. You know, you know they're not going to be up in the beginning. So I like to hostile up about three-fourths of the way through that first uh, level and then try to hostile up in case they're at the boss on the first level. Uh, you don't want to do it too early because then they have time to get off of the boss um, and come off. Obviously, you don't know exactly where the boss is on the map as it is a random dungeon and you don't know, you know, what they're doing at this particular time. But... You know, I hostile up and I continue running the route and I'm probably going to check my abilities, make sure I have them on right as I was earlier, you know, doing some PVE and not really PVP. So I need to check my abilities and make sure I am having the right abilities on uh, because I and I I mean, I, I know for a fact I do because I'm looking at the bottom of my screen. But uh, at this point in time, that's what I was thinking to myself. You know, I got to make sure I have my right abilities, but we actually got a guy coming back right at us right now he's got his purple little shield ordeal going on he's gets a good spin out for a lot of big chunk of damage there i actually mess up my stun run here barely get him on and then i actually throw him off of the um the fire damage with the tornado so it was actually a rough combo by me um but luckily this guy's running probably 4-1 4.0 gear um i think it's 4-1 gear actually so he's just taking off trying to get out of here um but i'm just going to be able to catch up and use my hellion shoes here and boom 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 uh, reputation decreased but you get the kill and it's worth it uh, we'll jump back to the other side and get his loot real quick for you guys to see what we all looted here as we slowly get back into the hidden mines level one uh, so yeah he was running 4-1 gear um, just basically 4-1 gear nothing special we had something tier 6 I'm assuming that was just food um, but and then he had cabbage soup um, and we'll just continue on now so we actually have a green boss here and we're gonna show you what a green boss usually drops for tier 6 based on my run uh, my runs this is usually what I get from about a tier 4 or a tier 6 green boss um, you're obviously gonna get more on if you get a blue boss or a purple boss I'm actually not positive if there is gold for solo dungeons uh, I'm sure there is, which would be really, really sweet because, you know, it's all your loot. So that'd be, I mean, a cool aspect is to get maybe a gold chest. We'll have to see if we can get any in the near future and we'll post that for you guys. Uh, but you get 1,500 fame there. Nothing too crazy. Not really that great. But this is a tier 6 red zone um, dungeon, a random dungeon, not even a map. So, you know, you can get better fame if you bump it up a little bit. It's not like this is, you know, too difficult for me. Uh, I tried to unhostile there just in case somebody comes and, you know, there's a couple of them or something. But I can't unhostile yet. I have some time to wait. Um, but here we go, getting into some of the mobs. The mobs are actually going to be very easy to kill, as you're going to be able to see that. Like, you can pretty much run any build and be successful in this place uh, at Tier 6. I think even Tier 8, you probably could. Um, with Tier 6 being so easy, I actually don't even run uh, low-level poisons and use them on bosses like some of you might want to, depending on how hard it is for you guys. I don't actually do that because of the fact that I want to be able to use that T8 poison in case I get ganked in here. I want to be able to get the kill over getting these mobs killed a little bit faster, or these bosses killed a little bit faster. I'm fine with taking a little bit longer, as long as I can kill the gankers. I love killing them gankers. Um, and I'm sure you guys do too. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going a PVP oriented build over a PVE because honestly about any build can work here uh, in these dungeons. They're really not too difficult. I'm sure I'm, you know, a little bit less efficient than you guys probably could be. So if you guys want to go the PVE route and maybe die to gankers or um, maybe a build that's better in both ways. But I'm trying to level my quarter staffs right now. Obviously you guys know that uh, specifically that soul site that I'm running right now. I'm trying to level. Uh, so that's why I am running what I am running and you know, we're we're kind of just trotting through here We got a good thousand uh, fame there at least um, But right here, we're gonna have a boss coming up and uh, We're gonna take these mobs out real quick. I am running a demon cape like you guys realize I'm running a 4-3 demon cape for a little extra damage um, And I believe I'm running like 5-1 probably everything else uh, maybe a 5-2 on something or so but basically, you can go pretty easy gear for tier 6. You really can run 4-1 like you guys saw earlier. 
Uh, I would maybe bring a Siphon Energy, like I said earlier, in case you get ganked by at least... Uh, if you get ganked by two people, you're definitely going to want to Siphon Energy. But for sure, you're going to want to Siphon Energy just because, I mean, it's 7k. You're not going to go broke. It's 8k, whatever. Uh, but we are getting to the final boss here that we're going to show you guys. And it's going to be another blue boss, uh, blue chested boss. So we're going to jump in here with the Hellion Shoes, get right on top of him, and throw in our damage. Our damage is going to be thrown in here. Uh, he actually has some pretty cool animations as you're seeing the rocks fall down on us. Uh, we use all of our abilities, get him to close to half health, so it's really not going to be a hard fight. Um, I don't have to dodge much because I see in the hostile, you guys got to make sure you keep checking that hostile on the bottom right, how many players are there. Um, so there's only one player in the hostile zone, that's going to be me because I'm still hostile. So you're going to want to make sure you use your combos, by the way, um, to burst these things down. You don't want to have low health. Uh, you can also go a healing pot if you think that's maybe the better route. If you're just going for PvE and not worried about getting ganked, you can go a healing pot. Uh, it'll also help you in PvP too, but you can see there the blue chest loot was not very good. But thanks for tuning in, guys. This was random solo dungeons, um, and it was a lot of fun doing this video. We got some PvP action and PvE action, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, you